Hi friends, here I am again. This time we are going to talk about programming and also updating the firmware on ESP07 and also it's going to be the same on ESP12E. They are so similar as you can see over here in my hand. So this is ESP07, sorry this is ESP12E and if you see the back, there are just a few extra pins over here accessible. And this is ESP07. Even the pin orders are same. Uh, just a quick note, you may see a third pin from top right. Uh, it might be called EN or uh, CHPD. They are going to be the same thing. So all what we need is connecting them in the order that I'm showing over here. Uh, Rx to Rx, Tx to Rx. Uh, I'm talking about USB to serial programmer and ESP. Rx to Tx, Tx to Rx, VCC, uh, definitely to 3.3 volts. CHPD or EN, they are the same thing they need to be connected to 3.3 volts uh, at the same time like if even if you are using for programming you're using the device you're using the um, flash uploader anything ground to ground and other quick note gpio 15 it needs to be connected to uh, ground why is that because we are going to put the module in reading from RAM. What happens if it is floating or we are using that? Here it is. It's my quick note. It's gonna read from SD card. It is possible that we can uh, read that from SD card. It's a totally different concept. We may talk about that later. And if we are going to program it, this is just when we are going to program. Uh, GPIO 0 needs to be connected to ground. So here it is. I'm going to put the link for uh, this programmer. You don't need to download any uh, latest update. It's going to find and download by itself. I'm connecting my USB port to my computer. And it's going to find the flash find the serial port, COM port, sorry, and we just flash it. It's going to take a few seconds. As soon as it finds the MAC address and shows this barcode, it's going to start uploading the firmware. It will take probably up to a minute or so, not much longer than that. While it is uploading, let me show you something. I showed on my other video when you are uploading firmware to uh, ESP01. This is going to be the same thing. I would suggest flash size to be 256 bytes. Flash speed is fine, 40 megahertz. Uh, baud rate, um, 115, 200 is the default unless you change it on your module which is possible with 80 commands and other options like programming. Going back to operation, it is almost done. All right, and we see this small green check mark over here in the left corner. We are ready. I'm just going to close this. 
disconnect the USB port and connect it again. It is not necessary, but sometimes prevent other problems. This is my program. Um, I'm just connecting to my SSID and password for my home network. Go to tools. Com7, it is my COM port for my USB 2 serial speed as we talked. Board. Board is going to be ESP8266. If you don't know how to add the uh, board to your Arduino IDE, uh, please check my other video which I'm explaining on ESP01. Okay, just hit the upload. And as we see, it is starting to upload uh, my program to my Wi Fi module. Let me show you something small over here. If everything is going fine, this Blue light should be blinking on ESP. And that's about it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. It is 100% uploaded. We can see that over here on my router. Let me just refresh this. Here is my connected devices and as we see this is my device name for my ESP07. You guys have a great time.